All right, welcome back to Kayak 2.0. Gonna put the gulls on. They could be gulls, I don't know if they're gonna be the top part or not, but we'll see. This way, put these on. Outside edge here. It'd be better if I didn't have all that glue on the outer edge because liquid nails is not sand that good. I think sometimes I see things backwards. It's okay. It's all right. It's sand a little harder. A little harder. And since what I want to do. Class, this foam does not cut exactly the perfect same width as the one before. It's going to be off just a little bit. Save yourself a little bit of time. The inside of it is uh, doesn't is not going to require much sand. But the outside is going to need sanding for. Shaping the hole. Let's, uh, let's tack this down. And then, and then, tighten it up a little bit. That butterfinger. Without the uh, the skewers, but the problem with that is when you go to put the clamp on it, clamp it down, it drifts, slides this way or that way. You can always come back and pull these out and. Uh, Recycle them. Let's get you some needle nose pliers. And yank them out. And you can pull them out, it won't make any difference. Just want you to get your outer skin on it, whether it's poor man's fiberglass or real fiberglass, it won't matter. Right, let's get the other side done. Cut this corner right here so it's that miter right there. You're here.
Out later. Uh, so what we want to do here, remember those side pieces that were just hanging off. Just take our saw here and just hold it, hold it flush against here. It's not the best, but we'll get there. Should be able to use that piece here. Building this on the fly, so I should stop and check some things before I go any much further. Yeah, I probably need to cut some pieces for this instead of. No, that'll be fine. I think that'll be fine. Let's just go ahead and put that on there and uh, we can thicken that back up a little bit or something. Just gonna fill that up. Mm -hmm. yeah, that'll work. That'll work just fine. This stuff really doesn't matter if you color outside the lines just a little bit it's not going to ruin it because there's still you can still cover so much with sandpaper sanding it down and then you know, when you put your final layer on there and if you're doing fiberglass then you can 
you know, you could float it out with Bondo. And uh, get some new stuff up really nice with Bondo. Why are you rolling? There we go. Let's see, is it still on? There we go. Get my profile making it look like Alfred Hitchcock. Bat. great time to say there you have it there you have it styrofoam and glue all over you I've been like tarred and feathered tarred and feathered start putting me some wood in my transom. See this will be here. And then uh, foam will go across there. And then I put another piece. So when I put a piece of wood across the back of the transom, if you have a trolling motor on here and it's pushing on this, it's not just pushing against the the foam up here and the fiberglass or poor man's fiberglass, whatever you use, it's actually transferring the energy through this floor, the wood in the floor here. So even if you don't do that, you put a you know a hand toggle back here to, to carry it with, then it's not gonna rip out. It's gonna be pretty solid. So cover all your corners and make sure you've got a good solid way to pick up your kayak or tie it down just like in the front up there you can see my little bag up there that's a crawfish bag from a crawfish cookout but I put on all my little pieces in that so that if I'm working on this and I need some little filler pieces like remember when we did this we put the little filler pieces it's all in here right there I'm gonna try not to throw away any of that I use it for something so I have to grind it up and make a mop pillow out of it. Just, just kidding. Uh, but I'll use it for something. I won't throw it out. All right, I appreciate y'all watching. Uh, leave a comment, ask a question. I don't know what I'm doing, but I can certainly let you know how I did it. And maybe it'll work for you. All right, thank y'all. Bye-bye.